as our new friend, Mr. Seahorse, says, we have to defeat the vicious sea snakes and save Mrs. Seahorse. That way, Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse can fall in love and get married, and he can have her children. And the vicious sea snakes are these creatures right over here. Whoa, what? Oh, apparently I got eaten by one of the sea snakes. That's not good. Okay, I guess I'll sink to the bottom of this area, and then I'll show you how to defeat those evil sea snakes. There are basically two ways to defeat the sea snakes. Way number one is by using the boomerang flippers. Yes, two hits with the boomerang flippers will destroy the sea snakes. And let's see what Mr. Sea Snake is keeping hidden in his lair. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Awesome. What's inside the treasure chest, though? Ah, 20 rupees. Very nice. Very nice. Now you'll notice that there is a sea snake hole directly opposite of the one we just exited from. That's always going to be the case. Each sea snake hole has another sea snake hole directly opposite of it. I know the map makes it look like there are only six sea snake holes, but in reality there are eight of them. So it's going to take a little bit of time to visit every single one of these holes and defeat all eight of the evil sea snakes. But we have to do it, because the sea snakes are taking the baby Zoras captive. As we just saw there, I picked up the baby Zora from one of the sea snake holes. Now I'm going to float up and find more sea snakes, see if I can't win something else from defeating them. The other way to defeat the sea snakes is like this, using your magic shield of magic power. And it looks like this sea snake is also hiding some treasure. Oh goody, more money. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And like I said, directly opposite of every sea snake hole is another sea snake hole. Let's see what this one is hiding. It looks like he's just hiding a jar. That's kind of boring. Okay, because seeing me swim around and around and around is really kind of boring, I think I should probably cut some stuff out. I'll just cut to the parts where I fight the sea snakes. And leave out the boring parts where I just swim to the sea snakes. That way this video isn't overly long. And this sea snake is also protecting more jars. Okay, let's see what this snake has to offer. Looks like another Zora egg. Let's trap it in a bottle, and let's take it back to the Marine Research Lab. Okay, let's see what this sea snake is hiding. One of these sea snakes is hiding Mrs. Seahorse, right? We have to help out Mr. Seahorse by finding his wife. And wow, how am I missing with my magic shield so many times in a row? I don't like that snake anymore. I think I'm gonna go fight a different sea snake. That guy was mean. He used up all my magic power. And this is empty. 
Darn. Probably should have cut that out. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. I'll just be swimming back to where the evil sea snake is. And this time, I kill him in order to get... What do I get? Is it another Zora egg? Just more jars? Seriously? Okay, just more jars. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last sea snake, everybody. And I definitely see the Zora egg. Oh, hey, and that's our friend the seahorse. Or is that Mrs. Seahorse? Oh, it's Mrs. Seahorse. Hey, guess what? We just saved the seahorses. I think that might happen once you destroy every single one of the sea snakes. Mrs. Seahorse shows up, and the two seahorses fall in love. Aw, that's cute. They make a little heart when they kiss each other. We just got ourselves the last baby Zora egg. Let's go to the marine research lab and deposit them in the aquarium. Ah, seahorse love. They say it's the purest love there is. So climb on top of the aquarium and just drop the baby Zora eggs into the aquarium. And I'm pretty sure that's it. These are all the Zora eggs we have to find. Four are inside the pirate's fortress, and three of them are being held captive by the evil sea snakes. Okay, so that's the last one. Now let's see the baby Zoras hatch. Okay, okay, this should be awesome. Let's see what baby Zoras look like. Oh, so that's what they look like. Interesting, I guess. And what's this? You're forming musical notes? Link, Link, pull out your guitar, man! Zora Link is a guitarist, after all. He's the guitar hero, so he will be able to play these musical notes, right? Night of the second day, 36 hours remain. Hey, I'm now playing my guitar. Rock out, Link. Well, that song isn't very rocking, but it's okay, I guess. And Link just learned the new wave bossa nova. I wonder what happened to the old wave bossa nova. It's a song which conveniently cures laryngitis. And Lulu, our band's main singer, has laryngitis, so obviously what we want to do is play the song for Lulu. <laughs> 